This is the PlayStation 5. Today we're going to be adding some internal storage to the actual console itself. So that's going to be a Nuvmi drive, kind of a next generation storage solution. I've got a one terabyte Fire CUDA 530 model here. You're going to have to check to make sure your particular models work. So be sure to take a look online at the various checklists that are available in order to have a compliant option. So we've got that in this little baggie here. So first off, it's cool to be working on this. Be sure to like the video. You know, subscribing is great as well. But anyways, make sure you've got a good screwdriver option that's going to fit the selected holes. We don't want to strip any screws. You know what I'm talking about. So we're going to kind of use our thumb. We're going to lift the back here. And we're going to kind of support this side as we push and take off the cover. Again, surprises me every time how easy it comes off, so just be careful. Don't push it, don't stress it. There's the cover. So now we've got the inside of the PS5. Note that the disk drive in this particular option is up at the top, so that's what we're gonna wanna do. Make sure the placement's good before you just start popping off the case and the cover. We got our fan here. It might be a good time to also airbrush out, or well, not airbrush, I guess you could say, but use some compressed air just to, you know, kind of clean it out while you're doing this. It's pretty easy for that kind of care. So we're gonna take our screwdriver here. We've got this little box, this little spot that's gonna house where our Nuvmi drive is. It's magnetic, the screws are magnetic. It makes it a little bit easier to kind of work on. So we're gonna wanna apply a little bit of pressure here and again, be careful. I have noticed that, you know, applying a good amount of pressure actually allows you to take the screws out a little bit carefuler. Carefuler, yeah, great word there. But, you know, you just, you don't want to damage things. You don't want to break it. You don't want to strip your screws. It comes out, you know, pretty easy. Just apply the right amount of pressure. Make sure you have the right size. Then we're just going to take our little metal casing off here. So it's just a little piece of metal. Pretty easy going. We're going to set that aside for later. Again, be careful about our screws. We don't want them to fall on the floor or anything like that. So you notice we have different slot area sizes for different, you know, kind of sizes of your sticks. And then we've got one at the top here. So we're going to take this off right here. Again, this one seems to be a little bit harder than the other screws to take out. So you know, definitely be more careful of this one because I, I think I have been like almost stripping it a little bit. So, you know, definitely use caution in regards to taking it out. Keep in mind, it's got an extra little circular piece with it as well. There we go. So you don't want to lose that. And then we've got our little spots here. So we're going to take out the Nivvy storage solution now. Again, it's uh, so be careful of static electricity. You want to be in a nice static free environment because that could damage the components. Uh, as you can see, we've got our little fire CUDA stick sent from Seagate. So we're able to plug this one in here and have a pretty good time. So this part, you know, you got to be careful. There is a nice little slot where this is going to kind of slide in there. Just a, a, a little spot where it's just going to nestle in nice and easy. And it's going to kind of be, you know, kind of a little bit loose. But it basically should be held in there. And it should line up to where the screw spot is. So you'll see kind of a bit of a, a, a screw spot where you are going to be putting in this little thing again. So it should kind of line up with the ring. You kind of take your little screw and you are going to screw that in there in order to safely secure your storage solution. There we go. Nice and easy on that one. And then we're just going to screw it on in in order to firmly hold down our storage so that it is nestled in there. There we go. See, it's firm. It's not moving around. It's good. So, you know, it's firm. It's placed, but it's not necessarily pressured in there, if that makes sense. It's just nestled in good. It's not going to move. Then we're going to add back our outer casing right here. So you'll notice that slides right back in correctly. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to put our screw back in as well. Again, making sure everything is firm. Don't want to go too tight. Like, you don't need to go too tight, but just make sure everything's in there and it's not going to fall apart. You know? And then we are going to take our front case. It's going to snap in nice and easy and you'll actually hear a snap sound like you just did 
And there we go, we've got the storage solution included into the PS5, and I assume that's going to be how it's going to kind of just run for the rest of the generation in regards to putting in these storage solutions. I hope you found this helpful. Okay, we've now launched the PS5 after adding the storage into it. So now we have two options, don't format and turn on PS5 or format the M.2 SSD, so we're going to format it. And then it's going to format the, well, the of me storage pretty quickly. And from there, we're going to be able to use it with a pretty good read speed. And it has been formatted. So now we are able to choose where games are installed if we'd like to, setting storage installation location. So that's pretty easy to go. It's got to rebuild the database. And yeah, there we go. We're installed, we're good to go. We have new storage to enjoy. We're gonna go over to the settings just to show that off here. And you can see that we're gonna have that new storage available to us. That's right, we've got a fresh one terabyte of space. Awesome, right? Nice, easy going. We actually get the full terabyte, which is fantastic, very, smooth no issues at all and it's kind of exciting that that is now present because as you could tell I, I was having some issues with space i've got some free space now but i had to delete a lot of stuff to make that happen but yeah that's installing the storage i hope you found this helpful if you have questions along the way any problems anything like that let me know and i'll try to help out but uh yeah liking the video subscribing is great as well and i hope you enjoyed this guide to the playstation 5